Hello everyone. Uh, this video is the follow-up for the previous video talking about remove because there are some unexpected behavior happened while I was uh, recording the video and uh, I don't want to start from scratch to record everything again so I just leave the mistake there Previously, what I'm thinking is uh, when we get using get reference with uh, remove together, it only make one database hit. Actually, it's not. It's going to make a two database hit. But uh, that select statement is not because of the get reference. It's because of the remove. So in this video, I'm just going to demo you. Get a reference never make a... Oh, sorry. Get a reference we are not make a database hit. It will provide your proxy only when you actually need to use the object like a p dot get something, then it will make a database hit. This part is uh, correct. But uh, for get the reference with the remove, it is still make a database to database hit. So let me show you. Okay. Uh, here I have a get a, uh, get a reference. Uh, first, let me using get a uh, find. Okay, and how to demo that? I will make one and a two and a three and a four. So we have the SQL right executed by the hibernate. So we can use in one, two, three, four to differentiate where is the SQL actually made. And I'm gonna add a EMF close here, okay? To close the EMF. Okay. And uh, let's run. Uh, run a uh, manager. Yes, let's run. And you will see uh, before this one, we will have the two insert statement, which is for this two. And uh, in the find, we will have a select statement. And we will have nothing between them. And only when we commit, we will see the delete. Okay, this uh, we will talk about later because of the cache mechanism uh, provided by Hibernate. It will try to wait for the last moment to actually do the update or remove. Okay, here is the output. You can see before one, we have two insert statement made by Hibernate. And then we have one, one. And when we have a find, you, you will see immediately it's gonna have a select statement. See here? And then we have two, two. And when we do remove, okay, when we do remove between two and three, two and three we have remove but actually hibernate will not remove immediately it will wait for the last moment what are the last moment when you do a flash when you do a commit when you make a new query query statement it's gonna push every all the changes to a database okay wait for the last moment so you will see between two and three nothing two and three nothing but uh, between three and four we have a commit Commit means um, make the changes to a database. So between three and four, you will see a delete statement. This is when we have a find. Okay, find will immediately make a select. See here, between e one and two, you will have a find. Okay, now if I using get reference, when we using get reference, get reference won't make a query to a database unless you really use this object. What that means use? Suppose I want from the book, I want to retrieve for the title, okay? And in the proxy, it doesn't have a title, so it must to make a call to the database. And uh, let me show you in this case, it's gonna be have a slightly difference between them, okay?
Okay, so before one we have two insert statement as usual, and now between one and two I have a get reference right, and between one and two you can see Hibernate didn't make any call to the database, so get reference we are not issue a call. The pro the B hold the object is a proxy which Hibernate provided for you, and between two and three we are trying to remove B. Two and three, it will make a select statement. Okay, this select statement is not made by get reference. It's actually made by the remove. And then between three and four, okay, three and four, it will make a delete. Anyway, if we're using uh, get reference and remove, it still make two hits, but one uh, zero for get reference, two for remove. One is select, one is delete. Okay, so uh, that's it uh, for the get reference, and uh, this is also uh, new to me, uh, which uh, uh, which I feel really uh, sorry for that. Anyway, so after this, uh, we are clear about uh, what actually doing, and uh, so when we do hi when we program using Hibernate, it's better to actually turn on the show SQL, and uh, it will clearly know what what kind of SQL actually Hibernate uh, uh, executed to the database. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.